the next thing I knew, there was a blur. And his punch helped me spin. And I went down on one knee, and as soon as I hit the ground, I was running. You were down here as a nigger lover, and I didn't feel like you as a white man had any right to get yourself involved in it. I was 21 years old, and I'd been deeply impacted by the murder the summer before of three civil rights workers, Cheney, Goodman, and Schwerner. And of course, back then, blacks couldn't go into white barbershops, right, is that correct? Right, mm -hmm. Yeah, you could go there, but you might not come out. <laughs> 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 I hear you. I hear you. And my relief was, I thought it was the feds. And then I was told by Frank, that ain't no feds, that's the Klan. We were in a stunned moment of silence when that reality seeped in. People who are preaching hate, you see the swastika and you see the Confederate flag and they primarily represent the same thing. You can't convince anybody here, or you can't convince enough people here that we don't need that, that kind of negativity. We are rolling. And this is roll one, delay interview. I'm gonna, it's okay, I'll do it. And I'm gonna give a slate. All right, sir. Okay, we're good to go.